So would you believe we are back one week later again, take three. First time was COVID-19 lockdown. Second time was, what happened last week? <laughs> Jay, uh, come out here. <laughs> we had the wrong bottom bracket. So welcome to another long awaited video. Today we're at Taylor Cycles in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, where behind me, Jay Taylor is gonna be building what I think will be an, an illegal bike according to UCI standards. How heavy do you think it's gonna be, Jay? With the right wheels on it, about <laughs> under, under 6.5 easy. He reckons it's gonna be under 6.5 kilos, but he says the right wheels because we've just pulled the wheels out of the box, the Caden wheels, and we've realized that we've got a 12 speed free hub body on it when we need it at 11 speed. So we're gonna, what are we gonna do, Jay, today? Do you wanna pull it up and show us? <laughs> we're gonna build the bike partially with these wheels. And then we're gonna sort of split the video into two parts, but you're gonna see it in one part. Jay's gonna come up to the Sunshine Coast and we're gonna put the Caden wheels on it and then this video will be complete. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So just as Jay is cabling the bike, I wanted to also mention that we're going super old school with this build today. We're doing rim brake, my favorite, over the old, or the, I should say the new disc. And also we're doing SRAM Red Mechanical 11 speed. So let's get back into it. Second time was, what happened last week? <laughs> Jay, uh, come out here. <laughs> we had the wrong bottom bracket. So, this, so is that exactly what was the par? Um, that we needed? Yeah. A uh, GXP 24-22 millimeter conversion kit <laughs> for a what was already not quite a BB right in the bike. So, okay. But I've redesigned Complex. it. And this is, yeah. When people come in and say to a bike shop, oh, I just want a, a standard bottom bracket. No such thing. <laughs> yes. This is, this is 2015. There's probably way more than this now. Yes. There, there you go. go. All right. But we've got the part so we can get back in and finally build this Factor 02. Actually, last time you guessed before you were really playing around with the bits and pieces, about 6.4, 6.5, but now you've been sort of playing around with it. What do you reckon it could be? Close to, close to six? Now I've measured the wheels. They're, okay. they're only about one kg, so I'm yes. thinking she might even be at the, the six, the six, six. mark. Wow. Yeah. We'll have to yeah. wait and see. Fitted, lubed up with 
for my mind. magical <laughs> slick honey grease. And we got some special tires. Look at it roll. Special tires, yeah. These tires here, um, they're specially made for teams. I don't think you'll even find them on the Maxis website. Oh. They're the High Road Team Edition. 28 <laughs> by 25 millimeter Maxis. <laughs> <laughs> Now you've got that tape that you pulled out earlier. If you didn't pull it out, you gotta take the tire off again. Yes. So now it's just gently, very slowly. And that's easy to do. You don't look like you're really nah. going for I it. I can there. do it with the two finger pinch. Oh wow. Yeah. So and because you've got plenty of pressure in there now, the tire's not moving. And it's, you've really got it, you don't want to pull this way, hmm. you gotta pull backwards. Again, make sure the tire is going to... I find that it really helps the tire run dead centre. Just a bit of pressure to make sure it's going where it has to go. The all important way with a tire. That's, that's a light wheel with the tire on it. That's the front. <laughs> Noise. We yep. want to put a good bit of grease in here. It's actually going to make it a little bit duller. Mm. Make it easy to get off later. Now this is the important bit. Um, if you put it in the wrong spot, you can end up with a crooked 11 tooth. It'll go wobble, right. wobble, wobble, wobble. So right. you've got to make sure that you've got this little guy yeah. in with it here. Mm. And it'll clip in nicely like that. You can never have too much grease on things that you're gonna have to undo later. Mm. Last thing you want is a seize cassette. So, because these do have to go up tight, because I see them not done up tight enough, and it actually will cause it to creak. So, you can see other mechanics tear a whole bike to pieces and then still not check the cassette, and it was a two second job. Just mm. like that, nice and hard, bad boy. Not tight enough. Oh, how much does it weigh first? So, 11 plus 750, that's 1850. With tyres and a cassette and quick releases. perfect car because we didn't let the let go of the carbon too early which splinters the carbon down which you don't want always with these bits you cut file up to start with so again you avoid those splinters and then you can just do a nice little spin look at that absolutely breathtaking pure perfection People tell me that I'm crazy, I tell them that's exactly it I've got reasons for my absence People tell me that I'm burn out I tell them I'm not like the rest But if I'm really being honest And you ask me how I'm doing I probably have to tell you that Tell you that, tell you that. I'm too broke, too busy, don't smoke But I'm privy to the hate
is the moment of truth. Okay. Oh, what? Are you sure? Scales don't lie. Oh my god. And the scales are straight. Well, the camera won't focus. Oh, there we go. Now we got it. Are you serious? Just check that that's a zero. That is a zero. This is the. You doing it? Okay. Ready to the race. Pedals. Pedals. Mount. Mount. Bottle cages. Bottle cages. What did I say? Oh. Six kilos. <laughs> I'm on the oh money. Oh my god! I reckon we could get it under six, couldn't we? We could without the power pedals. Without the power pedals. You also said that was quite heavy. Yes, so. that was heavy. So, um, wow, that's amazing, isn't it? It's breathtaking. It's is that illegal? Uh, it's um, 790 <laughs> grams illegal. illegal. <laughs> <laughs>